Today we're going to build this micro form factor computer. Uh, the same as the other day, we had another machine that had died. This one also had to have a motherboard replaced, so there is the board. Uh, this is the replacement one. And um, we're going to rebuild this system. It's a Core 2 Duo with 4 gig of RAM. And I have tested the, this with an SSD. It is very, very quick. But today we're just going to put the standard hard drive back in and see how we get on from there. So let's get cracking and start building this. So first things first, the motherboard needs to go in. So here we go. Cracking little systems these. Uh, four years old and still going strong. Only had a few of them die. It's sort of 200 here, so it's quite good out of 200. So let's put the processor in. So it's a Core 2 Duo E8500, 3.1 gigahertz. Oh yeah, these used to be powerful. Back in the day, I used to love these processors. The Core 2 Duos and the Quads were the thing to have. Basically an i3 and i5. Basically it was what it is now. Ramage, Ramage. There you go. Ram and processor in successfully. We'll put this little cable in. The speaker on the front, like so. Woo! It's hot in here. That's all I'm saying. Right. Let's go ahead and put the cooler on now. Try to look out which way round it would go. This stuff is crap. I ain't using this. Rubbish. Okay, let's put the cooler on now. So we're screwing the heat sink down onto the processor itself. Keep it nice and cool. There we go. Voila. Next thing we will bring in is the rear traction chassis fan. Placing the motherboard on this machine, and then I'll give the hard drive a reinstall as well with a fresh copy of Windows, simply because it's been a year since it was imaged, and we'll do with a, a refresh. All right. So next thing, let's go ahead and put this cage on. Got a line or everything up. Like so. And there's a screw that goes in here. Not the easiest of screws to put in these, if I'm honest. Got like a star on them and then a flathead as well. They're unnecessary. Why 
one here and one there. Okay, so next thing is the hard drive. So that's the standard hard drive that goes into this machine, just a normal 5400 RPM, 2.5 inch drive, simple as that, click in. DVD drive goes on top of that. And that's a toolless design, which is nice. So we've got our power and SATA connector. It gets to the board down there. So then click that in. Like so. And all that's left is front sort of intake fan. So this just literally slips into here, slips in and then you plug the connector in. Like so. On the front we've got a little sort of in-out protector guard here. So let's go ahead and put that back in. Fix on and there's a final screw to put in to finish that off. And then we put the, the front fascia back on and the lid, the top, and then we'll go ahead and reinstall it and test it. Front fascia comes back on here. Okay, like so. Swanky. And then of course the lid. Or the top, whichever you prefer to call it. Which has a thumbnail screw in the back. This is a quality duo of course, so it's not exactly the most powerful for an i3, so it's not the most, the most powerful processor, but let's give it a go. Back in a minute. So the system's here ready to go. Let's see what we can do then. So it's on the back. It sits on the back of this machine, like an all-in-one unit. So let's see what it does. Turn it on. See what it says. Okay, all good so far. I'm going to reboot it. I'll just go into it's the BIOS. Uh, in fact, no, I'm just going to go straight to Network Boot and uh, Pixie Boot this into our deployment server. Go ahead and reimage it. So the PC's working obviously, and uh, I'll come back to you once it's all done and then we can see the flight from there. And there we have it guys, one freshly reinstalled computer after a rebuild. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. See you later!